All right, guys, here we are at Pick and Pull, and today we're hunting for a ninth generation Toyota Camry that parallels the third generation uh, Lexus GS450 HS from 2007 to 2011 or so. And so, what we're after here is the inverter with the coveted plug. And I think this inverter looks awfully similar to the Lexus one. And especially this plug, this connector, which is what I'm going to try to pull out. So wish me luck. Hopefully we can get that out. Okay, so here I am making progress. I got these, this cooler out of the way. This is pretty nice. I wonder if it matches the ports on ours in the Lexus inverter because... This could end up being the highest point of your cooling system, which is what you want. And then I think this just goes to the water pump. I wish that had the water pump. Looks like somebody already snagged it. But anyway, got that out of the way. So you're getting the shaky cam treatment. This is where the battery pack comes in, the DC from the battery pack. This is uh, not where we're going to connect on the Lexus, but this is the OEM connection. And then here we have this cable runs to the AC compressor, okay? Don't mind this one, this, this one here, and this one here are the, for the motors, motor cables, which I might grab them too. In case we want to connect the Toyota Camry inverter to the Lexus transmission see if that will control it okay top tip time this this screw right here actually goes through and holds this AC compressor cable so you have to remove it and then when you remove it I mean you don't have to take this lid off for that one but now now it unplugs see that that hole is threaded and it's going to be a similar thing on the other one for the battery cable, except I think this is what they make you do is you have to take off the cover and then you get to that bolt. See that? That one is not exposed like this one for the AC compressor. So they're saying you can probably take the AC compressor off just like this, but I'm sure uh, Professor John Kelly can tell us that this comes off. You probably have to do something with the fuse, whatever. And then you have to remove this one to get the battery pack cable off. So I'm going to go after that next. Sorry, guys, I need two hands for that. Okay, I'm not sure if my phone is going to get this, me lifting out this inverter, or if it's going to end up in a puddle here. It just rained. Here we go. And it's out. So here it is removed. I'm not sure if we want this bracket. I'm sure it comes out. But there it is, nicely removed. The opposite of a Gorilla Extract. I am going to keep this cooling ho uh, canister on there. Put the other hose back on. Yeah. Okay, moving right along. I think I am going to remove this mounting bracket for the inverter. I'm not sure if I'm going, if I'm going to buy it. But at least I'll remove it. Maybe it'll give me better access to more stuff. I want to go after the resolver cables. Um, I think this is it right here. Start unwinding that and get those. I like OEM harnesses if you haven't noticed already. So let's keep going. Okay, now I'm going to go after these high voltage MG cables. I forget which one's which, if this is MG1 and then MG2 is back there or the other way around. But I think I have two, is it more? Maybe three bolts on this one. Probably the same on the other one. We'll see if I can unplug it. I wonder how much they'll want for these cables. I'll shove them, I'll connect them to the inverter. Maybe they'll just sell me an inverter with the cables. We'll see. Okay guys, another update. I'm gonna get one of these high voltage cables out. I just wanted to show you so ended up being four screws two on top two on the bottom i took this top plate off because on some of them i saw that you have to actually unscrew more screws inside it looks like that's not the case here i think this will just slide out 
So, you know, there we have it. I'm not sure how much they want to charge me for that, but I'll try to get it. All right, so this is the inverter plug, and there's actually two things plugged into that inverter. I don't know if these are resolver wires here or if this is something to do with like neutral safety switch or I don't know, but or maybe those are temp sensors. But anyway, I want to show you why I think they cut this at, at a foot's length. So if we come over here, see how it joins this main harness right there? This is where they will lop it off most likely if you ever see these listed on eBay. But I want to show you that it will continue on to this black box here. And I'm going to try to take this all apart and see how far we can get and how much mileage we can get out of that uh, connector and also see how we can grab some resolver cables. Okay guys, I'm going to keep bringing you updates till my phone dies. So this was held on, I think, like three bolts. It comes off. Then I unscrewed this little plate there. I'm going to try to get it out. Maybe one-handed. Maybe not. Well, I'll pry that off and then I'll follow this harness into that box. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I'm following the harness that plugs in here to see if this is actually resolvers, which appears it is. So let's go to the car. That is that plug, and you can tell that looks like cables here, which are probably shielded, twisted pair of some sorts. And I unwrapped them, and the first one here disappears over here. Thank goodness this car was practically taken apart and it's right there. This is the butt of the transaxle, the motor. So I think that's the resolver right there. I'm gonna try to unplug that now. All right guys, we tracked down the other one. Again, that's from this plug that plugs into the side of the inverter, big connector. And it goes up here to the top of the motor and unplugs. There we go. And then two wires, a pink and a green, run to somewhere on this block. And I'm just gonna cut those off, although I have the plug. I doubt I'll ever use this plug. So I'm just gonna cut those wires as close to the plug as possible. And we'll be able to yank out our inverter cables. Okay guys, let me show you why it's important that I unwrap this thing for y'all, for us to see. If they cut this too short, they're gonna cut this stubby, which is I think like grounds for the shielding of the synchronous serial. So if you see a little stubby cut here, you're screwed here. Probably has to be, I would say, at least eight, 10 inches down to avoid cutting this. I'm gonna unwind more of it and show you. Again, I don't know if I can do this one-handed, I'll be back. Okay, so here's my concern. See how this is all bundled? Watch. These are actually really long cables here that are bundled up and they kind of fold back on themselves. But if they're cut mid, mid kind of stream, then we lose out on these kind of nice grounds. And so it's maybe not worth it. You want them to cut further. And if anybody at Wrecking Yards is watching this video, you want to cut these synchronous serial inverter cables plug wires as far down the harness as you can to avoid cutting and ruining it. Okay, let me keep... Okay guys, I am pleased with what I'm seeing, so I want to show you the money shot. I took that big old fuse block back off, and you can see our harness, it kind of meanders in there. It's actually quite lengthy if you put the effort in. So I will get it from this plug as far down as I can, and this could be possibly at least three feet of it. That's pretty good. That should reach the zombie verter. All right, guys, let me give you another update because it might start raining here. I got to get out of here. But this is a, a controller, I believe, maybe for the uh, oil pump. I don't know. 
the transmission oil pump. I don't know why it would be mounted way up there. I know there's a couple boxes that look similar. Behind there is a water pump. I don't know why it's at the highest point in the vehicle, but that's where it hides. Uh, I'm not sure where the hoses run to. I don't think they run to the inverter, maybe. Um, but anyway, it's back there. And the sort of good news is that our plug harness does not terminate inside this box like just a foot away from where it's plugged in it just passes behind it and keeps going and i might try to cut it as far back as i can here because it's i think it goes through the firewall or runs along the firewall maybe up here and it's just a nightmare so no wonder they cut it but they could put in some effort and cut it further for us Okay guys, there it is, surgically extracted. Extreme precision, that's all it takes. There's the nest of wire. I went as far back as I could. It's just such a mess out there, guys. So, you know, you're gonna get what you pay for. Here's that plug. I mean, this is quite the length for just trying to test the plug, if you will. This is probably good two and a half feet or something like that. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna get another orange cable out and then I'm gonna head home, have some wine. All right, dudes, this is about three hours later and this car was pretty much taken apart. I can't imagine trying to yank this out from an untouched vehicle unless it's in the comforts of your own home. So two orange garden hoses and the coveted inverter plug. We'll see what they want for all this. I think it's like 65 bucks for an inverter. I'm sure there is finder's fee, clear coat, undercoating, core charge, and whatever mood they're in to charge me for all the extra goodies I have hanging off of it. Wish me luck, I'll report from the parking lot next. Well, my back is gonna thank me for this tomorrow. Here I am, I first take the bag 100 feet, then I come back get this Camry inverter that I need like a hole in my head but that's the plan it's just awkward to carry kind of sharp edges and of course I'm a wuss so yeah we're gonna go up there to the bag you thought I was joking nope back for the bag <sighs> All right, guys, sorry I'm so out of breath, but very excited. 85 bucks out the door. Tax and license registration, interstate transfer fee. Oh, man. So that's the inverter connector, inverter, water cooler jug, two orange garden hoses. Hell, maybe even some of this I can use. Thanks for watching.